Although microbiologically, chloramphenicol has many potential applications, its use is limited due to the rare occurrence of idiopathic aplastic anemia in people. For this reason, it's also banned in food animals. Chloramphenicol is a protein synthesis inhibitor. It works by binding to the 50S ribosomal subunit reversibly and preventing translation of mRNA. Like many of our other protein synthesis inhibitors, chloramphenicol is bacteriostatic, so it doesn't kill the organism, it simply arrests its growth. Chloramphenicol is an agent with really broad spectrum of activity, so it's quite a useful drug. Um, it's active against gram-positives, gram-negatives, and anaerobes, and these days it's probably most commonly used as ophthalmic preparations for treating bacterial conjunctivitis because it is potentially active against uh, the plethora of organisms that are identified from eye infections. In veterinary medicine, it may also be a very useful treatment against methicillin-resistant staphylococci, particularly MRSP in companion animals. But despite these very useful microbiological properties, it is associated with a rare idiosyncratic aplastic anemia in people, which has really severely limited its use. This aplastic anemia is essentially a shutting down of erythropoiesis, so the bone marrow stops making red blood cells, and this is unfortunately fatal in 50% of cases. It's non-dose dependent, so it's not like a patient who's starting to have aplastic anemia can stop taking the treatment and recover. It's generally non-reversible, and we also don't fully understand the mechanism by which this occurs. So it's a very, very serious uh, potential adverse event, and for that reason, chloramphenicol has been entirely banned in food animals. It is absolutely critical that we never have uh, residues of chloramphenicol in the food supply. People cannot be exposed to this drug inadvertently. Fluorphenicol is a related compound that was derived from thiamphenicol and is actually used exclusively and fairly extensively in veterinary medicine. Unlike chloramphenicol, it is not associated with aplastic anemia, so it's safe to use in animals which may enter the food supply. Like chloramphenicol, it's a broad-spectrum agent against gram-positives, gram-negatives, and anaerobes. Um, and then it also has activity against many of our bacteria that are particularly problematic in uh, bovine and porcine medicine. So things like Pasteurella multocida, Truparella pyogenes, Fusobacterium, and Actinobacillus. I hope this description of chloramphenicol and fluorphenicol was useful. And if you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. Mm -hmm.